1 Timothy chapter 5 You may not rebuke an elder, but exhort him as a father, younger persons as brothers, aged women as mothers, younger ones as sisters, in all purity. Honor widows who are really widows. And if any widow has children or grandchildren, let them first learn to show piety to their own house and to give back a repayment to the parents, for this is right and acceptable before God. And she who is really a widow and desolate has hoped on God and remains in the supplications and in the prayers night and day. But she, given to luxury, while living, has died, and charge these things that they may be blameless. And if anyone does not provide for his own, and especially for those of the household, he has denied the faith, and he is worse than an unbeliever. A widow, do not let her be enrolled under sixty years of age, having been a wife of one husband, being testified to in good works. If she brought up children, if she entertained strangers, if she washed the holy one's feet, if she relieved those in tribulation, if she followed after every good work, and be refusing younger widows, for when they may reveal against the Christ, they wish to marry, having judgment, because they cast away the first faith. And also, at the same time, they learn to be idle, going around to all the houses, and not only idle, but also tattlers and busybodies, speaking things they should not. I intend, therefore, younger ones to marry, to bear children, to be mistress of the house, to give no occasion to the opposer of reviling, for some already turned aside after Satan. If any believing man or believing woman has widows, let them relieve them, and do not let the assembly be burdened, that it may relieve those widows who are really widows. Let them, the well-leading elders, be counted worthy of double honor, especially those laboring in word and teaching. For the writing says, You will not muzzle an ox treading out, and worthy is the workman of his reward. Do not receive an accusation against an elder, except on two or three witnesses. Reprove those sinning before all, that the others may also have fear. I fully testify before God and the Lord Jesus Christ and the chosen messengers, that you may keep these things without prejudging, doing nothing by partiality. Be quickly laying hands on no one, nor be having fellowship with the sins of others. Be keeping yourself pure. No longer be drinking water, but be using a little wine because of your stomach and of your frequent sicknesses. The sins of certain men are evident beforehand, leading before to judgment but some also they follow after. In like manner, the right works are also evident beforehand, and those that are otherwise are not able to be hid.